So this is the 1.0 release. It's been baking in the oven for about five months or so. And it's actually a combination of a couple of different models we've been working on with internally. Uh, so once again, this is Scott Detweiler, uh, the QA guy over at Stability. And uh, we just got done with our launch over on Discord of the 1.0 announcement. So I wanted to cover some things with you that we kind of went over there as well as where to get this model and uh, how to use it. So first of all, this model has been made to be very easy to train. So it may not be out of the gate like, wow, it's just not ama amazing or ideal in every way. No, but it, it's much easier to train. Now, training is going to take a little bit longer uh, than it did with previous models, uh, but it should also be a lot more flexible. So you should be able to get out of it more than you think you can. Uh, also, I would actually try things first before you go and train them. I think you'd be surprised at what comes out of this model without required training. I uh, saw so in the past you may have required a lawyer to do certain things, and now it just comes natively to the model. So make sure you give things a try before you go ahead and train them. Now, I've trained things on as few as five images and they worked out okay. Uh, internally, we've tried eight and it's been pretty good. So don't think you have to walk in there with a gigantic amount of training data to get something simple out of the model. Again, it's very flexible. Uh, so let's start with, first of all, uh, we always grab it over at Hugging Face and make sure that you grab the safe tensors version of this. Don't use checkpoints. Checkpoints can execute uh, Python scripts on your machine and lead to horrific situations. So always use the safe tensors version of any model you download. This includes the stuff that you might find over at Civit uh, from this point forward. Now, if you'd like to try the model for free without fine tuning, you can go ahead and try our bots over on Discord. Those are free to use. And if you already have a Dream Studio subscription, Dream Studio is another place we use internally to play with different things and have different ideas. Feel free to try that. That's dreamstudio.ai. If you've seen my recent videos, you obviously know that Comfy UI is my favorite tool here. Uh, now it's much, I say much more difficult, but it's a little bit more difficult of a learning curve than say Automatic 1111, where you simply type in some stuff and you get an answer. Uh, but what's great about this tool is your ability to actually break down the flow of how the model, the noise and other settings are applied and in which order. Uh, so you can do some pretty exciting things in here. This is for those of you who really want to geek out. Again, you can just place that model in the VAE, uh, which you can also download from Hanging Face. And there's also a Laura that uh, was created internally uh, by Katie, so uh, Kaliuga. So you can download that as well uh, to try all these things out and link them in and play with them as much as you'd like. Now, Automatic 11.11 also supports 1.0. However, I wasn't able to get it to function uh, perfectly. It did have some issues. Uh, so I'd say give it another 24 hours or so before I would go ahead and venture into that. Um, so this is a great opportunity for you to go ahead and try out Comfy. You're going to notice with this model that you have the base model itself and you have another pass called a refiner. You do not need to use the refiner. The system will work fine without it, but it does add another level of detail that you may find interesting. Now, some of us may just feel fine that we're, we're good without the refiner and we don't need that additional pass. That's really up to you. And again, the amount of strength you'd want to put into it. If you're using something like Comfy, you have the ability to kind of use it a little bit instead of using it at full strength. The one recommendation I would make is that you pass a somewhat noisy image to the refiner. Don't try and finish it all up and then go through a refining and then go through a refining pass. If you're going to find that it adds like a stippling to it, or at least that's what we noticed. So I would go into it with a little bit more noisy image to get the most out of the refiner. The other interesting thing about this model is it's been trained on a lot of different sizes. So you don't feel the need to start small and work your way up or use something like a high res fix because you can be able to do a 1024 by 1024 native image with a lot of different aspect ratios. So this won't trip up as easily as previous models did in trying to give you duplicate heads and things like that. Speaking of which, negative prompts are really kind of a thing of the past for the most part. You can still use them from time to time to push something out of an image that you didn't want to see, but don't go gangbusters and thinking that you need to paste an entire treatise of things you don't want to see uh, because a lot of that stuff is junk anyway. Like what are extra fingers? It doesn't know how many fingers are in a hand to start with. So why would extra fingers matter? So a lot of this stuff has evolved quite a bit since that first started. The other thing you're going to realize is that the weights that you were using before, if you had something that would say a weight of two in your prompt, you can find that it's way more than you need now. We actually find it easier to lower the weights of some things than increase the weights of things that are more important. It may seem counterintuitive, but for some reason it works better than the other way around. And even at something that's a 1.5 or greater as far as a weight goes is way too much. So just try smaller increments. This means that older prompts are going to have problems using the same weight methods as before. 
Anyway, this model should now be available up on Hugging Face for you to go ahead and grab. Uh, and make sure, again, that you download the Safe Tensors version. Again, it and the Refiner and then the uh, VAE that Cal Yuga made are all available for download for you to give a try. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, we're going to continue to move forward with SGXL on this channel and maybe a sprinkling of some other models here and there. Uh, I'm excited to see what you guys do with this thing, where it's going to go. We also have other features that are coming out very soon, uh, as well as our own ability to train them. Uh, up on our server. So if you're somebody who would like to fine tune a model and you just haven't been able to do it because your computer's a potato, uh, we're going to be offering fine tuning services very soon on the Dream Studio interface as well as our platform interfaces. So uh, hopefully that's sooner than later and we'll see. Uh, again, it's always a moving target with things. And we'll see how things turn out. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.